Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to make a quick video to add to our How to Make Kydex Holsters at Home series and it's going to be how to make the belt clips or the belt loops that you use for them if you don't want to buy the pre-made ones. It's a real simple process and I'll go over it. So uh, I'll put a link up here to the, uh, wherever it goes, up here somewhere, to the How to Make Kydex at Holsters playlist and to the uh, main video that shows you step by step each step on how to do the actual holsters. And I've got a few different videos in there and there'll be more to come, so make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any recommendations, comment it below. So stay tuned. Alright, so what I use to make these is I just have a piece of three-quarter plywood and then I got some of these little blocks that I bought for different things at home or at uh, Hobby Lobby. Just little thin blocks of craft plywood and I set them the right distance apart this one's cut for inch and three quarter so I set it inch and three quarter plus the thickness of the kydex and this is 0.118 kydex and I'll put a link to it in the, in the description and uh, that's what I use for the belt clips a little heavier kydex and what I do first is I just cut these strips of it and I cut these to about six inches depends on what clip you're making how long you want them the only one you can't cut off afterwards will be a clip like this where it's looped so you kind of got to cut it the right distance first but the rest of them you can cut off afterwards and if you're making one either this style or this style where it comes back in you want to be sure and round the corners and kind of round the end of the uh, part that folds over at least you don't have to do the outside part but the part that folds to the inside or on this and you have to do both of them before you bend them in otherwise it's really a pain to try to get them rounded with the sander with them already bent so that's just a easy way to do it but all I do here if you can see this let me see if I can zoom in just a little on it just set it on there like that let me get my gloves on because it's kind of hot Like I said, I've got one of these for inch and a half width belts and one for inch and three quarters. And this is just a piece of kind of like cutting board material. I don't even know where I came up with it. I had a whole sheet of it and just cut a few pieces out. But uh, that is what I use to push it down. But you can use just a block of wood. There's no real reason for that. It's just what I had. And I cut those to exactly inch and three quarter and exactly an inch and a half. Just get this warmed up a little. Not quite warm enough yet. You don't want to hold your heat gun in one spot very long. Just try to work it back and forth till you get it when you want it. Getting closer. This side's not quite warm enough. Just a little more. For this one, we'll make the one down, one up. And like I said, the style like this, where they're both U'd over, you have to do some measurements. I guess I can tell you what this one is. This is an inch and a half one for an inch and a half belt. So you have. Let's see. That's two and a half, three, three and a half, so the total length on this one will be four and a quarter, so the total length on the inch and three quarter belt will just be four and a half, but there's that, that's just how simple it is, and then uh, you just cut this off to the, you know, wherever you want it to fit, this one, just cut it off. And then round your edges and then just drill you a hole in the back here and a hole here for this style 
I mean, this style is one of the easiest ones, and one of the most ones I use the most. And basically, just the same deal. We'll just throw a piece on here and do it real quick. A lot of times when I get to doing this, I'll make a whole sheet of clips with a you know a sheet of this thicker Kydex makes a world of clips. So I'll just make a whole bunch of inch and a half and inch and three quarter different styles. So I've got several. Whenever I get ready to make a holster, I'll have them pre-made. Just try to make sure you hold it straight. It's really that simple. And then all you have to do is just, uh, oh, wrong way. Once you get this, you just cut it off the length you want hanging over. You know, let me see, I think I have a bottom one somewhere like this. Alright, here's one that I ordered. You can definitely order these, they're just a little cheaper, but you can just mark this and off this and cut it the lengths you want and drill your holes in it and you've got it. it looks perfectly fine just smooth the edges just like you would a holster you literally have just a few cents in each one of these as many as a sheet makes and these are a few dollars for a pair of them so it's a lot cheaper way a lot yeah, it's, there's nothing to it I mean if you just got some scraps of wood laying around and that and you've already got to have a heat gun to make your holsters anyway so that's really all it takes it's that simple so thanks for watching guys and uh make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on this holster series thanks